Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank and a stunning turn of events. It is raining in England. Uh, today we are taking on Chelsea. Chelsea Football Club, we've played Manchester United, we've played Manchester City, and now we're playing Chelsea. Unfortunately, we're playing Chelsea without our best players, both twice as Vice and French. The Lana are injured. Ball John Green and other John Green are exhausted from their performance against uh, Manchester City and Manchester United. So we're starting D McGoldry Locks and Stone Cold Steve with the C Austin up front. Uh, Leslie Petinari out there on the left. On the right, we've got the Red Power Granger uh, in the back. Made of Win. Uh, I think One Size Fits Hall is playing. We're just going to do our best here. We really need to win this game. There's no two ways about it. This um, this is based, This is probably Chelsea and Liverpool are probably the teams we're going to be competing with for that fourth slot. Um, so we need to beat both Chelsea and Liverpool. Um, and that's what we're going to do. We're just going to do it. Red power grain. I mean, oh boy, this isn't going well at all. There we go. Nice and calm. And then out to Stone Cold Steve with the C. Austin. So there's been an interesting conversation. A couple weeks ago, I made a video in which I talked about how to argue, and I talked about um, how I, I, I made a dismissive comment about people who think the universe is 6,000 years old in, in 2007. Um, I guess now it would be 6,005 years old. And uh, it, was, it was interesting to see the comment response to that because a lot of people disagreed with me um, about how, how you should argue with, with, those, with, with people who believe that or, or people, people you disagree with, particularly when they believe things that are, that are aggressively um, anti-scientific and that really don't hold up to scrutiny, at least, um, at least if, if you're going to embrace the, the idea of any kind of, that any kind of scientific knowledge is, is legitimate. I want to make something very clear. Uh, I don't think the world, the universe is 6,000 years old. And I, I don't think that the idea that the universe is 6,000 years old is, is a defensible idea from an intellectual uh, standpoint, right? Like if you're going to believe anything uh, about anything that we understand about the world, if you're going to believe uh, that stars are not pinpricks in the sky, but are actual distant objects, if you're going to believe Diva Goldilocks, oh! I needed you to go far post on that, baby. You were so close. You were so close to making beautiful things happen. Um, if you're going to believe, uh, I mean, it, it really, it is difficult. It, it, the idea that the universe is 6,000 years old is extremely difficult to defend because we have a massive, massive body of evidence uh, that tells us pretty much the exact age of, of the universe. Um, I mean, you know, down to down to a billionth of a year. I mean, I mean, a billion years, not a billionth of a year. Um, and uh, but like, we, you know, we have we have lots and lots of evidence for the fact that the universe is more than 6000 years old. Um, we have lots and lots of evidence for the fact that life uh, it, it, that human life has existed on the planet for more than 6000 years. And, and in fact, we have lots and lots of evidence that before humans were here, there were there were lots of other creatures. Um, there's lots of evidence for evolution. There's lots of evidence for, um, you know, for all kinds of things. I, that wasn't my point. Um, my argument is this. Uh, saying that, saying there is a lot of evidence for, um, and, and, and for this stuff and the scientific worldview is really central. I mean, it's the scientific, uh, you know, the, the whole approach what is that called? The scientific method is really, really central, not just to understanding the age of the universe, but to really every single thing that we do as humans on a daily basis. It's really central to like washing machines and refrigeration and all kinds of other things. And that to, dis to dismiss that stuff is, is to dismiss, you know, the last 250 years of human history that have seen these dramatic changes. I would argue, by the way, that to dismiss... Um, uh, climate science is is to do the exact same thing. However, I don't think saying you're an idiot because you believe this is going to make that person say, oh, I'm an idiot. In that case, the world isn't 6,000 years old. Instead, all it does is push people into echo chambers where they only hear uh, the, the vo voices that agree with them. And that is true, by the way, not only for people who believe that the world is 6,000 years old. It is true for all of us. All of, all of us are wrong. All of us are wrong about big, important things. 
and we don't learn that we're wrong as long as we do nothing but sit in an echo chamber full of people telling us that we're right. Um, that's just not the way, uh, th- at least in my opinion, that is not the way to, to have a conversation <clears throat> because it doesn't because nobody learns from anybody else. I want to understand, genuinely, I do. Um, I want to understand why people believe what they believe. And I want together to learn more interesting ways of thinking about stuff. Um, And I don't believe that I can do that by listening only to voices I already know will agree with me. And so when when I said that, that's what I meant. I don't think that arguing is productive when it's, I'm going to scream at you, no, I'm going to scream at you, and then, oh, well, you made me feel like crap, so I'm going to go away now, and I'm going to hide on a corner of the internet, or I'm going to listen to television uh, shows or radio shows or whatever that agree with me, um, and then I won't have to, I won't have to think. Um, now we all do that. That's not just people on the right or people on the left or people who believe in science or people who believe the world is 6,000 years old or whatever. Like we all do that. We all get our, um, you know, we all, we all like, you know, when the, when the kind of discourse becomes screamy, um, we all become more entrenched in our beliefs instead of less entrenched. And I know this because we've seen it in American political discourse in the last 50 years. We've seen us go from being able to have conversations to oh demon goldrilocks that's it you're out of the game oh you had two fantastic opportunities and i just believe in my heart that they would have been put away by the john greens and they're coming in both of them together because they are a husband and husband team and that's how they operate together um i'm gonna bring in merrick merrick a little bit later oh no i'm gonna bring in merrick merrick now because Fahey's really tired um all right, there we go. There's our three substitutions. We need to win this game. We're 53 minutes in. We need to win it, and this is this is the way. So we're going to do it. We're going to do it right now. Come on, boys. You can do it. We've got to believe in this team. The Swoodly Poopers, we stand poised to make history. So let's do it together. Come on. Oh, there's, there's Ball John Green. Look at him. He's so pretty. He's so pretty. How'd he get so pretty? Get it to your husband! Oh, for the love of everything, holy! Oh, and then a terrible cross. Terrible cross in that needed to go, needed to go to the one place it didn't go, to the far post. Oh, and then Ball John Green is dispossessed. I don't like seeing any of this stuff. It is hard to play in the rain, I don't deny it, but like you guys, we're, we're better than this as a club. I know it. I know we're better. All right. No, oh, good idea, but I don't like the execution of it. So, um, you know, in the, in the end, like what I want is I want us not to be an echo chamber. And one of the things I value most about Nerdfighteria is that it isn't an echo chamber that like and that a lot of times people can have constructive conversations, um, even even when worldviews are really fundamentally different. So the question for me is not like, are you sacrificing your belief that the world is more than 6,000 years old when you tell people that to you, young earth creationism stands against not only, um, you know, not not only facts x y and z but but your very worldview itself um that's that's fine the problem is when uh we start to treat people like idiots and we remove them from the conversation because then what have you accomplished and i don't think you've accomplished anything and like to me conversations about these big important issues that matter to us should be about trying to trying to come to consensus trying to come to a place where we can learn from each other and this, the whole, you know, yeah. So I just, I just don't, I don't buy, I don't buy the argument that you get much accomplished by screaming at people and calling them idiots and being dismissive of them. Um, in my experience, that just isn't true. All that does is further polarize us and lead us down this, the road that we're headed toward um, in which, you know, really nobody listens to anybody else and everybody, you know, and we see this so much in political discourse now that like, on, on all sides, half-truths are treated as fully true because the voices that challenge those half-truths are so ridiculous. Oh, ball John Green, for the love of everything holy. Unless that's a corner kick. Is that a corner kick? Uh, maybe it's a corner kick. It should be. I, I feel like it should. Yes. All right, let's get the goal right here, guys. Right here. Let's get it. Let's get the goal. Ball John Green! 
Oh. Oh, it's frustrating. He kicks the grass. I'm kicking the grass. We only have 10 minutes left. Oh, we've got to find a way to score. Um, so that I, I, I don't understand why you would ask a question other than the question of like, how can we how can we actually accomplish change together? And like that to me. Oh, I'm so frustrated with him. Um, that to me, that question to me does not get answered by, uh, by senseless yelling at each other or by sharing of half facts or whatever. And I'm, I, 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 I'm not, that's not to say that I'm not guilty of that because I totally am. But, um, I get really frustrated when, you know, it's, uh, Mitt Romney caused my wife's cancer versus, um, uh, versus, you know, like Barack Obama wants to destroy America. Well, both of those things are manifestly stupid. So how are we going to have a political conversation when we're talking about two stupid things, you know, two stupid non-facts? Uh, and and uh, you don't see that, by the way, as much in most political discourse outside of America. Um, and it really, it really frustrates me. And so I'm tired of seeing it celebrated. Uh, I'm tired of, and, and I don't, uh, I don't, I just don't like it. So you don't have to agree with me. I, I don't, I won't get mad. Um, I'm not going to yell at you if you think I'm wrong, but that's my opinion. All right. Oh, is that the end of the game? Oh, it's a standard swoodly pooper nil nil draw that puts all the pressure in the world on our game against Liverpool. Oh, we've got to beat them. See you next time. Best wishes.